we have just looked at a star so let's see how it works and we will see this with a small example uh, and kind of hand simulate it but the point that i also would like to emphasize is the fact that all the algorithms that we are looking at depth first search breadth first search best first hill climbing a star they are not working with with a graph given to them the graph is being generated on the fly by the move gen function and we will try to highlight that fact as well of course a star will search the implicit graph using f values and we will see how that happens and the nodes will be generated on the fly till it picks the goal node essentially so here is a small problem graph uh, you can see that uh, there is a grid of uh, 10 units each as you can see and uh, the nodes are placed on intersections of these points the whole idea is that manually we can compute the coordinates quite easily because the heuristic function depends on the coordinates if you remember each edge is labeled with the cost of traversing that particular edge essentially node i is the start node and w is the goal node essentially so if you remember we had seen two heuristic function one was euclidean distance which was a straight line distance as the crow flies between uh, any node and the goal node and the other was the manhattan distance uh, which was like the grid distance going along the grid values till you reach. so if you remember we had seen this two steps three steps four steps five steps six seven eight nine ten and that's why we have this number 10 there essentially we will use manhattan distance simply because it's easier to compute and um, we will encourage you to use manhattan distance if you are writing an exam uh, to avoid computing the euclidean distance which is involves all the square root and stuff these are the manhattan distance values written in blue as you can see uh, along these um, edges essentially so we had seen that the start was 10 hops away from the goal and therefore its distance is 100 because each grid has a value of 10 essentially so all these numbers that you see in blue are the manhattan distances to the goal obviously the goal has a value 0 and the farther you are away the larger is the manhattan distance i have also drawn an imaginary river which you can imagine because you can't cross it uh, in any place there are only three places where you can see that there is you can imagine a bridge so any path from the start node to the goal node will have to go through one of these uh, river crossings or bridges so start value has a uh, start node has a value of 100 and the lowest h value selected at each stage from open so this we are talking about the first earlier algorithm that we had seen is best first search we did not take into account h cost and did not take into account g values only h values mm -hmm. so let us see what be best first search algorithm does it picks a node with the lowest edge well h value at any point and it starts with the start node which has a value of 100 so the nodes in green or cyan are the ones which are on open the nodes in yellow are on closed as we did earlier and this red arrow shows you which is the best node on open that is going to be picked by best first search first so as you can see of all the nodes which are on open this is the one with the lowest value what are the nodes which are on open it's this one this one this one this one this one this one and this one all the ones which are colored in cyan essentially so 70 is the smallest value it picks that remember that best first search would have 
kept parent pointer. So, it would know that the parent pointer of this is this. I mean, it does not keep parent pointers in the sense of our implementation use node pairs, but this is how it would remember that essentially that uh, the parent of that node is this. And essentially, it just goes for the lowest value. So, 60 is the lowest value amongst the nodes in open, and then it goes to 80 because as you can see, there was a river that we mentioned here. And that is of course all captured in the graph. And then it is found a path to this node and eventually to the goal. And this is the path that it would have found based on the node pairs or parent pointers that it, ha it has uh, uh, kept during search. You can see that it had is inspected 8 nodes and the order in which they inspected is also written here starting with the start node 1, 2, 3 and goal was the 8th node it picked. The cost of the solution that it found shown in thicker arrows is 195. So, it is 43 plus 64 plus 22 plus 33 plus 12 plus 21 essentially. And that is how best first search performs. So, let us now look at how a star performs on the same problem. So, we will use the same heuristic values which is the Manhattan distance and uh, f of start is going to be h of start because g of start is 0 and we initialize open with the start node. Now, we will also try to imagine how the implicit graph is generated essentially. So, this is what we start with. We start with only the start node. Its h value is 100, its f value is also 100 because g value is 0 and it basically picks the best node. In this case, only one node. It also generates the, the 6 children of the start node and now it is computing the f values. So, how did this value of the best node 101 come? It came from g value which is which is 21 and h value which is, so this is the f value essentially. h value is uh, the Manhattan distance, the g value is the cost of the h and so this is cost 101 and you can see it is the cheapest f value node. So, A star will expand this and it has generated these children and you can see that it has already shifted its attention to this other node uh, whose f value is 102 which comes from 90 plus 12 which is 102 whereas what best first had done was it had looked at this node whose f value was 70 at this point so best first chose the lowest h value whereas a star chooses the lowest f value which is 102 and that's because uh, best first has ignored this cost of 12 and this 21, which is 33, which is added to 70 to give you 103. Best first only looks at 70 and it searches, it, and if you remember, that is how it searched the graph essentially. Then ASL expands that node with 102 to give you this node with 104. But now it shifts its attention back to the node with value 103 because that is cheaper. It expands this node, it finds a, another path to this node with 104 value, but that is not the best path. The best path 104 we get from 80 which is the h value plus 12 plus 12 that gives us 104. Whereas, this path would have been longer path and A star always keeps track of the best path to the node. Then again it goes towards this node with heuristic value 60 because it appears to be closest to the goal. Then it goes back to a node which is seems to be going in the wrong direction, 
but that's how the h values and the and the h cos are it has a value of 122 but pretty soon it comes back to moving towards the goal with this node with value 126 and after expanding that suddenly it finds a node which seems to be going again in the wrong direction with a value of 142 it expands that uh, then it comes to this node with a value of 143 but the pointer for that node is not this 142 that we just expanded but it's a earlier path that it had found because that's how the value of 143 is arrived at 143 is equal to 100 which is the h value plus 22 that makes it 100 and uh, 22 plus 21 which makes it 143. So, it found this path and uh, now it has shifted its att attention to that. You can see that this node which appears to be closest uh, to the goal node is not yet in contention and that is because it has a very long edge on the way which best first it would have ignored but A star does not ignore. So, A star has now gone off in a different direction. Uh, as you can see it is exploring more nodes than best first search. Best first search was only looking at what appears to be closest to the goal. A star is looking back and looking forward at the same time. It is looking back by computing G values and it is looking forward by computing H values. So, it turns out that it, it does a greater exploration. And in fact, we will see that it finds a different path to the goal node, which is along the uh, nodes that we are seeing here. So, it coming down to the bottom of the graph and uh, we have a node with cost 146 here as compared to the other node which had a cost of 150, which is what best first had found usually. Where does this 146 come from? It comes with the value 20, which is the H value plus 41 plus 21 plus 21 plus 22 plus 21 etcetera. and that is better than the other cost. For a moment it shifts back to a node which is going in a different direction because that has a value of 147 which is cheaper than the value of the goal which is 148 through this. What is 148? 148 is the cost through this path and uh, it expands that node and it finds a cheaper path. So, initially this was pointing to this, but now that has gone and it has found a cheaper path to that essentially. Of course, that is not the path that it is going to find, but A star does that essentially. And eventually it picks the goal node with a cost of 148 essentially, which the paths that we see shown in thick red arrows going from this bottom path essentially. What is the cost of this path? The cost of this path is 148. It had it's inspected 14 nodes as opposed to what uh, uh, best first did. Best first, if you remember, had uh, inspected 8 nodes, but it had found a more expensive path essentially. As an exercise, I would encourage you to try and do the Dijkstra's algorithm on this same graph and you will see that it finds the same path as A star essentially. So, in this example A star has found the optimal path. What is the solution? The solution is given on the top. You start with the node I, go to the node P, then go to the node O and so on and so forth till you reach the goal node. Next we will talk about will A star always find an optimal path or not essentially. So, this will give us the conditions under which A star is what is known as admissible, which means that it guarantees an optimal path. So, we will do that next.